So Zane was the top seeded here by making the national team a year ago. But these two have wrestled twice before, two 10-0 victories for Nick Suriano. But those were back in 2019. Zane has jumped levels since then, but we all know Nick Suriano has been on a positive trajectory as well. We are underway. 57 kilograms in the blue. That's Nick Suriano out of the Sunkiss Kids. Taking on Zane Richards in the orange for Illinois RTC. And we're underway, Bader. Yeah, don't sleep on Zane Richards. This guy's got a lot of tricks, and he's becoming, he's turning into a veteran on the freestyle circuit. I'm excited to see how he stacks up with Suriano. I think it's going to be a lot closer than those 10 0 uh, tech balls you mentioned. We'll see. The big challenge for Zane is can he get to Nick Suriano's legs? He has such an incredible speed, and the counters of Nick Suriano are tremendous. He loves to run, go behinds, counter, re attacks. He's got it all. Is there? Battling for wrists in the middle of the mat. No one been hit for passivity yet. Now looking drag is Zane Richards. Nothing there. And that's a thing I've noticed from Zane in this tournament, in his quarterfinal and semifinal. Snap. He's using these really nice short drags out of his hand fighting to set up his attacks. He's a good hand fighter. One thing that makes Nick Suriano so effective, he's not a volume attacker. He's not going to come out here like Jason Nolf, take six, seven, eight shots in a period. But when he goes, he shoots and fires and finishes very effectively. He's got a double leg, double to single finish, great re attacks. So when you see Nick Soriano change levels and fire, he often is going to be scoring. And Nick doesn't necessarily like to get in these, these tight hand fights. As I say that, he's going right into it. But No, you're right. He's more of a wrestle from space, control the wrist, timing, and pounce from the outside as we see Richard try to attack with an underhook. Zane moving him a little bit with that underhook. Normally... Nick, as you pointed out, likes to keep people at bay with his threats and, and fakes from space. And that keeps people from coming in and putting their hands on him. But right now, Zane Richards has been hand fighting effectively. And for, uh, for that work, he's going to put Nick Soriano on the shot clock. He's got blood or something on the mat, perhaps. I think the referee's calling for somebody to come up and wipe it. So Nick's bleeding. So they're going to clean that up, clean the blood off the mat. And when we come back, Soriano will be on the shot clock, so he'll have 30 seconds to score or he'll give up the first point to Zane Richards. And there you're seeing Nick Soriano has been training at the Sunkiss, with the Sunkiss kids in Arizona State, Coach Mark Perry, Zeke Jones, etc. And he clearly has been working on a suntan as well. <laughs> yes, this is Nicky suntan. Meanwhile, Zane Richards has been on the scene for years. I thought you were going to say meanwhile, <laughs> Zane Richards is not very tan. Yeah, meanwhile, Zane Richards is Definitely lives in Illinois. Yeah. Hate these little lulls, but it, it's just part of it. And I'm ready to see this action get back to it. Uh. Need to make sure Soriano's on the clock. So they're getting the scoreboard right. Yeah, now it's up to three minutes. I gotta get that back to 133, I believe, what was on is what was on the clock. And then, yeah, uh, Soriano should be. There we go. And Shot there. clock on, and here we go. Let's do it. Minute 33 to go. Shot right off the whistle from Soriano. Can't get in. Pawn at that right leg of Zane Richards. Nothing doing, but you're seeing Nick get those threats moving. Doesn't want to give up this point if he, does, if he can help it. Zane's got his hands on him, though. That's going to prevent some of the attacks from Soriano. And there's that underhook cleared out. Good job by Zane Richards, keeping Suriano at bay so far. Eight seconds remaining on this shot clock. Yeah, great job with the underhook right now. Really slowed Suriano down. And time is going to tick off, so a point's going to go on the board for Zane Richards. one nothing. He leads with a minute to go in the first. And a reminder, a spot in Final X is on the line with this match. The winner here in this match will take on Thomas Gilman June 10th at Final X. Gilman, I believe, four-time medalist, a couple bronze, silver, five-time medalist. So they're going to warrant Zane Richards for passivity. Suriano doesn't want to wait for the whistle. There it comes. 40 remaining in this first period. <laughs> Trying to snap Zane Richards underneath and find an angle. It's Nick Suriano, nothing there right now. Richard's doing, doing a really good job keeping Suriano away. Not giving him the ability to get to his legs as we see Suriano. Nice wizard there. Take ground. Oh wow, no oh, points there. Over on the edge. 
So Zane Richards was grounded there. That's why he didn't give up. His forehead's bleeding, yeah. but they didn't notice it. That was a good attempt there from Soriano, but couldn't quite get that step out point or the takedown. He was close to both, got neither. And we're going to go 1-0 into the second period. Zane Richards leading. And Mark's prediction looking very accurate so far. 1-0 lead for Nick Soriano, but there's adjustments to be made as he heads into the second period. Yeah, you see Richards in the corner with Brian Medlin in the red shirt, giving him some instruction. And we got Mark Perry and Zeke Jones over in the corner there with Nick Soriano. There's only so many things you can do in 30 seconds to tell a guy. But there are adjustments to be made. Soriano trying to clear those wrists off as soon as Zane's putting them on his head there. And again, tried for that little short drag, did Richards. And right now, it's Soriano, his butt's in the center. That's going to help him if he wants to put Zane Richards on the shot clock. There's a club and sweep attempt, but Zane comes up with an underhook. Good head position from Nick Soriano as he tries to clear that underhook from Zane. Arm, Arm throw, throw attempt, nothing. Yeah, spins all the way through, pops his head out. Can't find the waist or the hips to come out on top. And now Soriano to an underhook, body. Oh man, they just got somewhere, you know, a good wrestling position, that underhook, and they blow it dead. Nick Soriano clearly wants to get to this right side underhook. And, and Soriano gonna get attention for hands to the face. That's nothing new for Nick. Now they're gonna hit Zane, potentially. Nice shot, now here's where Nick is so dangerous. The counter attacks, and there he's gonna get the one. That's the first committed leg attack Zane Richards had, and Soriano immediately scores on it. That's where he's so dangerous. Okay, they switched to head Richards. So they went caution in one there as well. So they went one on the step out and a caution in one for Zane backing out of bounds. So that, that's a huge point there, potentially. It puts Soriano in the lead out right now. As I say that, one point for Zane would put him in the lead by criteria. Richards with an underhook here on the right side. Soriano buries his head. And another attack from Richards. Man, he didn't really sniff the leg that time. Soriano right away back to the underhook. Both guys want to get to their underhook, their position. Soriano's got that shoulder buried there right in his chest. Not able to drive like he was earlier in the bout. Minute 14 to go. Soriano hanging on a razor's edge here with this one point advantage. Oh, they're going to try caution to one. No, and no, it's going to be confirmed. It was confirmed across the way. No. White paddle oh, by the okay, okay, by the, on the near side. He's got to watch that interlocking fingers. And, and we're going to see a brick. Oh, now a double leg for Nick Soriano. Is I it going to be know. one or two? Maybe. Two offered. And now we also have a brick on the mat. And are they going to say that was too late? So, brick came out. The brick was pre was prior, so they're confused. So Brian Medlin thinks they should get the caution in one that was offered by the whistle, but it was not upheld. I know it's a little confusing. Brick's coming again. Sammy Julian's yelling at Brian Medlin, no. Sammy's the Matt chairman. So on the scoreboard right now, it's 3-1. So Suriano. Oh, and he, he's, he have, what's going on is the opposite side official, not the match chair, the judge, judge. confirmed it, but the, the chair has to. Yes, for a caution. Yeah. He kept to have all three, and they did not have all three. So it's 3-1, Soriano. They just end up giving one point on the step out there. You know, I thought Sammy Julian said, I have two. No, I saw the paddle was one. All right, that makes sense. So it's a 3-1 lead. I have to. Oh, got it. Yeah. So... A takedown for Zane Richards would put him in the lead by criteria. That's what makes this next point for... Oh! He's got oh, it! 3-3. Three, three. Zane Richards in the lead by criteria. And he's got a gut wrench, and he's working hard on this right side. Can Soriano fight it off? 
All right, we're back on our feet. 17 seconds, Christian, and as you spoke, he needs a takedown. Richard says, scoop back. Suriano is going to have to go for a sprint here. Final 15. 10 seconds to go. This is a great position for Zane to hang out in. Six seconds remaining. Arm throw attempt for Nick Suriano. Three seconds. And Zane Richards is going to do it. 3-3 three, three by criteria. A late takedown does it. And Soriano just kind of in disbelief. Yeah, he looks a little stunned out there. Zane Richards, your winner, national champion, will meet Thomas Gilman at Final X. Two points with 17 seconds to go. And that just sh goes to the, show the improvement that Zane Richards has made in the last few years. Let's we'll take a look at some of these replays. He's out there accepting his stop sign. 